Alan Combs, co-host of Hannity and Combs and Liberal in Lion's Den of Fox News, dies at 66. Alan Samuel Combs was an American radio and television host, liberal political commentator for the Fox News Channel and blogger. He was the host of The Alan Combs Show, a nationally syndicated talk radio show distributed by Fox News Radio that was broadcast throughout the United States on Fox News Talk on Sirius and XM. From 1996 to 2009, Combs served as the co-host of Hannity and Combs, a nightly political debate show on Fox News Channel. Beginning in 2015, Combs supplied the voice of the liberal panel, an animatronic robot face built into a paneled wall who spouts conventionally liberal political opinions on Fox News Channel's The Greg Gutfeld Show. In addition to broadcasting, Combs ran the liberal and blog and contributed to AOL News. He is the author of Red, White and Liberal. How Left is Right and Right is Wrong, 2003, and Thank the Liberals for Saving America, 2012. Combs was born in New York City. He grew up in Lynbrick, New York on Long Island, attended local public schools and went to Hofstra University, where he graduated in 1971 with a Bachelor of Arts degree from its School of Communications. While at Hofstra, he worked at its radio station WRHU. Combs began his career in stand-up comedy. He developed his radio career in the Northeast, eventually working at stations such as WABC, WNBC, WHN, WMCA and WEVD in New York, WNHC in New Haven, Connecticut. His radio career took off when WABC hired him for the morning drive time slot. He was billed as W. Allen B. Combs, as in the station's call sign. He moved to WNBC in 1987, but his tenure there would be short when NBC announced in 1988 it would close its radio division. When WNBC went off the air for the last time on October 7, 1988, Combs was the last voice heard. He had been syndicated nationally, starting with his involvement with Danish, a venture created by Combs and other regional radio hosts. Danish was sold to Major Networks, Inc. In 1994, Combs kept his own show which was distributed by Fox News Radio. He was hired by Fox News CEO Roger Isles in 1996. He was the co-host of Hannity and Combs, beginning with the Fox News Channel launch on October 6, 1996, and ending on January 9, 2009. He also appeared live on Shovio.com's new broadcasting technology, Talkback TV. Combs' debut non-fiction book, Red, White and Liberal, How Left is Right and Right is Wrong, was published in October 2003. It tackles issues such as civil rights, the war on terror and the perceived liberal media bias. Interspersed throughout are actual emails from Hannity and Combs viewers, reprinted verbatim. Combs left Hannity and Combs, with Fox replacing it with Hannity, in January 2009. Combs continued as a commentator on Fox News, most often on The O'Reilly Factor where he frequently appeared with his conservative sister-in-law, Monica Crowley. He was also an occasional guest panelist on Fox News' late-night satire program Red Eye with Greg Goodfeld. Post Hannity and Combs, Combs was a frequent panelist on the news analysis program Fox News Watch alongside Cal Thomas, Judith Miller and other pundits. While Combs described himself as a liberal and his Fox News biography touts him as a hard-hitting liberal, he has sometimes been referred to disparagingly as a token liberal or a Fox News libera. L. Combs told USA Today that he considers himself quite moderate. In an article he wrote in 2013, Combs described himself as very liberal. During his run on Hannity and Combs, Combs was criticized for being less charismatic and telegenic than Sean Hannity, and just a seat filler for the liberal side. Some newspapers reported him as being Hannity's sidekick. Future Democratic Senator Al Franken criticized Combs in his book, Lies on the Lying Liars Who Tell Them, saying he refused to ask tough questions during debates and neglected to challenge erroneous claims made by Hannity or his guests. Franken used a smaller font in his book when he addressed Combs by name and claimed that Combs did not speak as much as Hannity during the show. 
Some liberal critics questioned whether both hosts receive equal time to interview guests. Some of Combs' liberal critics, notably commentators at Media Matters for America, praised him toward the end of the show's run. He began to cite the reports in interviews with some conservative guests on the program. Bob Garfield, interviewing Combs for On the Media in 2003, asked him if he was a human straw man and a foil rather than an equal of Hannity. Combs replied that if the conservative members of the audience saw him that way, that was the problem, and said, It's more fun for me to be in a situation like this than to preach to the choir. On January 5, 2009, the beginning of his last week on Hannity and Combs, Combs was a guest on the Colbert Report in a spoof called Colbert and Combs, which parodied criticisms of Hannity and Combs. In addition to being given a list of pre-approved responses to Stephen Colbert's opinions and forced to sit on a stool, making him appear shorter than his co-host, Combs' face was covered by the on-air graphics while Colbert discussed issues of the day. Colbert fired Combs by the end of the show for pointing out fallacies in his logic, following Combs' announcement that he was leaving Hannity and Combs. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart also paid tribute to him with a guest appearance by legendary rock duo Hall & Oates, who in a parody version of the hit She's Gone dubbed him Tango to his Hannity's Cash and Laurel to his Hardy. Combs was married to Dr. Jocelyn Elise Crowley, a professor of public policy at Rutgers University whose sister is Monica Crowley, the conservative radio commentator, pundit and television personality. Combs died of lymphoma at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in Manhattan on February 23, 2017, at the age of 66.